Shakespeare's The Tempest has been given a pretty modern twist for a new play coming to the capital this weekend. Actors, dancers and musicians from Britain and Malawi have joined forces for the production. Reese Weathers and Joshua Bima both star in the show and join me in the studio this evening. Great to have you here. Um, Reese, tell us a bit about the story behind this production. OK, yeah, so with our production of The Tempest, we've kind of chosen to focus on colonialism. Um, so. Prospero, our protagonist, has been on an island for a decade or so, and he has raised his daughter single-handedly, um, and he's been ousted by his brother, who is kind of a bit evil. And so they've been secluded on this island, and all of his enemies are sort of on a ship sailing past, and he decides to use the, the help of his fairies to magically cast them into a storm and wash them up on this island where they sort of torment them and he wants to sort of seek his revenge. OK, Joshua, tell us about the character you play in this production. Uh, my character is uh, basically a spirit that has been pulled. It's a person who has been pulled as a spirit in, in, the, in the island. And um, he's trying his best to get out, to be free, to, to be set free, to be a normal human being. And, do whatever he can do. And we can see some of the images of the stage. It's an incredible setting as, uh, alongside by the sounds of it, an yeah. incredible story. Uh, you've been taking the show all over the country. What sort of reaction have you had across the UK so far? Um, it's been very interesting, actually, because we've gone to a lot of places where yeah. people in those areas wouldn't have access to this kind of theatre. Um, so it's been a really good response all round. Um, and it's been quite enlightening. We've had the audiences of children who have the craziest reactions. Yeah. Um, we were in Luton on Wednesday, <laughs> and there's a moment in the second half where um, the character called Trinculo, which is played by Victoria Jeffries, um, doing a really good job at it, mm. and Caliban, they're like lying down underneath this rag. And as Trinculo joins Caliban, the whole audience erupted into laughter. And there was like over <laughs> 80 children, and they were just screaming. It was insane. It was yeah. <laughs> yeah. saying, hey, you don't oh, have to <laughs> it's almost like a pantomime. Yeah. This idea of bringing together performers from Britain and from Malawi, what's the idea behind that? What does that bring to this telling of the story? Uh, I think it's, it's we just want to tell uh, the, the audience or the people that are coming to see it what Shakespeare wanted to say in the play uh, yeah. uh, called The Tempest, because uh, it's talking about colo col colonialism and everything that was happening before. So it's it's those kind of things that we are, we want to tell. We're te we're just telling the story how it is. Is there a sense that this sort of telling of Shakespeare's works hasn't been done enough? Before? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when Shakespeare originally wrote the play, this is one of his last plays that he'd written by himself. Um, the whole national perspective on colonialization was entirely different to now. Um, the, the, the people, creatures, fairies, spirits of the island would have been seen as monsters, which they refer to a lot. Whereas now we have a broader understanding about colonialization and the effects that it's had on the generations to come. So we, we've sort of approached it in a, in a different way, hopefully a more organic way, nearer to what Shakespeare intended um, at the time. So Josh's character and the other characters who are from the island are all from Malawi. Um, with the help of African Express, they've been sort of flown over and they've sort of created their characters and all the other characters like myself who have sort of ventured over to the island as a colonialist would have sort of landed there and are trying to negotiate our way through this magical world. It sounds fascinating. We are, I'm afraid, running out of time. But Joshua, just briefly, if people would like to see the play in London, when and where can they? Um, tomorrow and Monday at Sticks in, in Tottenham. Tottenham Lane.